run by welcoming and friendly staff, Flucamp is the only company in the world dedicated to the conduct of the Human Viral Challenge Model Study. Well, Flucamp is set up to look after young people who volunteered to be infected with very important viruses, common cold, RSV uh, and influenza. This is a very international affair. We want to shorten the time it takes to develop a new drug or a new vaccine against these most important of viruses. Once you have contacted us, one of our friendly staff will give you a call to talk about your chance to be part of this exciting study. The studies that we carry out, they're all quarantine based, mm -hmm. um, so you do need to be available to come and stay with us for between 10 and 18 days. Some of the most common questions that volunteers ask when they ring up are, when are the projects taking place? The projects take place regularly throughout the year. Right. Another common question is, how much will we get? They will be compensated depending on the type of project and depending on the duration of that project. Yeah, I just wonder if you could tell me what the risks are involved. We give the volunteers a volunteer information sheet and that clearly describes what is involved in the project and what the risks are with regards to the vaccine, the drug or the virus. For flu camp, what we need from volunteers is for them to be young and healthy, 18 to 45 years old, males and females, and with no underlying condition that might be a problem like asthma. What are the next steps? As long as you're happy, what I'll do now is I'll go through that medical questionnaire with, with you. We have a, quite a diversity of people, I mean, partly because we recruit in London, Manchester, Ely, you know, so we get a lot of um, different people from a lot of different backgrounds. Flucamp is run by RetroScreen at their headquarters, a dedicated facility at the Queen Mary Bioenterprise Innovation Centre. The facility is conveniently located in the London borough of Tower Hamlets and only a 10-minute walk from Whitechapel Tube Station. There are additional facilities in Manchester and Cambridgeshire too. On arrival at Flucamp, you will be welcomed by one of our meet and greeters. I'll get you signed in quickly. Yep. Okay. When a volunteer first comes to Flucamp, they'll meet friendly staff, administrative staff, doctors, nurses, who will take them through the steps of what they need to do in order to qualify for Flucamp. We'll ask volunteers to come in for what we call panel screening. And that's a simple visit where we'll take one blood sample and ask a very simple set of questions. Every potential volunteer is given a full explanation of the process. If they decide to continue, they sign a consent form and a blood sample is given. This is an opportunity to ask questions and for us to talk through what the trial is all about. It's quite reassuring, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. What we do with that blood is we see whether or not the volunteer has antibodies that means we wouldn't actually be able to infect them. And if that's the case, unfortunately, then they're not going to be suitable. Breathe completely normally. Okay. After four weeks, successful candidates will then be informed of their eligibility and invited in for a more in-depth health check. About 30 to 40% of people will not go through that medical screening. And that's not because there's anything particularly ill or wrong with them, it's just that we do need to have really healthy people. And we'll also double check with their GPs to make sure that they are suitable to come onto a, um, a clinical study. From the moment a person first contacts us to us giving them the virus can be up to three months, but is often around one or two months. Hi Tom, welcome to Flu Camp. Thank you. Through to quarantine then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty your lovely. safety yes. is of the utmost importance to us. So during your stay, you will live in our specially designed quarantine room and be cared for by our highly trained and dedicated staff 24-7. One of the really good features of our unit, our purpose-built unit, is that the volunteers are in individual rooms. They have an ensuite shower, they have the toilet in there, they've got a TV, they've got a PlayStation, you know, so, so it's, it's nice and comfortable surroundings. And the reason for this is two things. One, we don't want the virus getting out the room and infecting our staff or anybody else. But also, we don't want a common cold virus from a member of staff infecting a volunteer in a flu study. So it's a nice, clean way of doing it. We know the virus we gave them, we know when we gave them it, and we know it's not another virus that's on the unit. And that's why it's so important the volunteers stay in the rooms and they're all individual. Can you do a bio check, please? 
Day zero of the study starts when the flu virus is administered by one of our highly trained doctors. The viruses we use have been manufactured by us under very, very strict conditions. They're very high quality. We know exactly what they are, and they do exactly what they say on the tin. We've never had any serious problem with using the virus. We've got a wonderful safety record that we're all proud of. Over a thousand subjects inoculated safely in, in this controlled setting. Morning, Tom. I've got your diary card for you here, Tom. Volunteers will be woken up with breakfast. They'll fill in a diary card to say how they felt. During the morning, a medic will come along, give them an examination. They'll have their temperature taken about four times a day. And about three times a day, we will stick a little tube up their nose to test for virus. Hi, Tom. Just to remind you, you've got vital signs at 6 o'clock in the morning. OK. Your health remains our top priority. So weeks after the quarantine period is over, we ask you to come back for a final checkup. What I've always found quite interesting when I've spoken to the volunteers at the end of studies is how involved they become with the research that we do and how pioneering it is and how much they enjoy the fact that they've been involved in this. That's all done. That's great. Thank you very much. Really? Everything's fine. Joining Flu Camp, you're helping us and I think it's a fantastic opportunity. You know, we know what people are like here, they enjoy their time here, but you are also making a big contribution and a serious contribution to medical science, to virology, and speeding the development of new drugs and vaccines against very important viruses.